All right, all right, all right. Hello, everyone. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that was. Sorry about that. <laughs> um. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Master Sermon. Welcome to a new week. The last week of 2020. Can you guys really believe that? That's. We're now at the very, very end of this year. It's... Kind of crazy to imagine. Uh, good evening, Flash Fox. Hope you're doing well. I don't know why I have the screenshot on my Switch right now, but man, this just makes me want a proper new game from Rare, and I know that's never, ever, ever going to happen, but a man could dream, I guess. Yeah, and also I'm scrolling over to the completely the wrong game here, because, of course, it is a very solid image, I do agree. Um, so yeah, um, before I get started here, a uh, bit of an announcement that I have yet to kind of make public, I guess, and this may sound a little bit last minute, but, uh, Thursday is New Year's Eve, actually, and we're gonna do something a little bit extra special for that day. So, I'm going to stream not just Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, I'm going to stream Luigi's Mansion 3. And then, Time Dependent will probably have time for some more games that night. So, um, I'm aiming for Kirby. I'm aiming to stream Kirby Superstar after Luigi's Mansion 3. And then, after that, I haven't really decided. And again, that might just depend on if, like how long we have if something uh if we have time to finish something that stream might start a little bit earlier than normal i think i'll probably start around six my time which would be <laughs> yeah no jeremy i'm definitely i have to work on new year's eve so definitely not a 24 hour stream but um i'm thinking maybe six my time which would be about 5 p.m eastern um, I'm not doing a 24-hour stream, because I've never, ever stayed up for 24 hours straight. I feel like if I'm ever up for more than 16 hours, I start going nuts. Actually, no, that's, that's not true. I'm, that's actually not true at all. I'm up for 16 hours pretty much every day. Maybe a little less than that, actually. Um, and I love how all of these story files are basically at the garage. Um, yeah, I'm up for 16 hours every day, so I feel like if it's- if I'm up for anything more than 18 hours, I start going nuts. And I also don't want to start messing with my sleep schedule or anything, because, uh... I don't know if you were here for the f anyone was here for the Final Fantasy VII stream the other night, but... I started kind of going a bit nuts at the end of that because I I got really tired. My sleep was messed up really badly over the weekend. I'm back to normal now, but my sleep was definitely not normal. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to make our way to the 12th floor. I can't believe we're really this far along, that's, yeah, excuse me, it's already kind of crazy to believe, so yeah, Luigi's Mansion, I'll probably stream from about, um, I'm just going to convert this to Eastern time so it's easier for people to understand, probably about 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern, and that, depending if we're even done of the, if we, if we're like, maybe done of the game by that point, then... Um, that's a big if. Again, this is a... I don't even know if I can say blind playthrough or not, but this is, uh, my first time going through this game. Um... Oh, is this gonna be, like, pirates-themed here? That's kind of the impression I'm getting from this so far. Um... 
But yeah, we, we might be done with this game uh, by Thursday, so I'm not really sure. Like, if we are done with this game by Thursday, then... Oh, hello. I'll take that. I'll finish my thought up here in a second. Um, okay. Um, Yeah, I'll check that out. Check that out in a minute. Flashy Fox. Um. Guess I'll look in here. See, this is where I would have expected Davy Jones to show up, but wow. I guess he's. Busy elsewhere. Yeah, no. Wait, no, no. Luigi, thanks to that boat in your way, it doesn't look like you can go any further. What's the boat even doing there? Hey, good timing though. Could you come back to the lab? Something bad has happened and well I'll tell you the details. Uh I see. Okay. Um but I wanna explore, so hush hush she dad, cause uh Oh, I guess I can't do a whole lot of exploring. Um, so yeah, I haven't really decided, um, yeah, sure, may maybe after the end of this floor, then, uh, if you want to just DM me on Discord or something. Um, basically the point that I'm trying to make is here, I'll be streaming this game, Kirby Superstar, and possibly something else on Thursday night. So, that's going to be a bit of a longer stream, but it is a way of raking in the new year. Usually in the past, I've done, like, I used to do annual countdowns of, like, best moments of the year. And, um, in fact, it was actually 2010, so 10 years ago when I started that. I'm just having really old flashbacks remembering what I was doing on this night 10 years ago. Good god, I feel old now. Um, I can get into this story in a little bit, but... Um... Yeah... Man, I hate time sometimes. <laughs> I'll tell this story in a sec, because I have a feeling we're going to be dealing with some stuff. Ah, Luigi, I've been waiting for you. Hmm? That's right. Toad missing. Uh, right. That was a bad thing I mentioned. See, I was actually thinking about further modifying your poltergeist goo, you know, powering it up. I was confident the part I would need to modify the poltergeist goo was in the hotel, so I had Toad go look for it. But, well, come to have a look at this, Luigi. It's footage I found with the camera I gave Toad. Ah, oh, wonderful. Wonderful! Oh, this looks like that room I was trying to find in the boiler works there. Not oh, one of those arseholes. Ah, oh, wonderful. It's always it's always gotta be the boiler works. Always got to be the boiler works. Let me guess, ghost at the top? I see. It seems Toad was attacked by a ghost in the place where the footage was taken. Listen, Luigi, if this footage is a clue, you'll have to use what was in the footage to track Toad down. Oh, but above, above all else, you must simply bring me back that part. My invention is at stake. You obviously agree this is a mission of utmost importance, right? <laughs> Get to it, Luigi. Um, I wonder what happens if you, like, just use the Game Boo 
horror to kind of just do that cutscene, like, just to go back to the lab, but I guess it's not really, or, it's not a Game Boo horror, that's, uh, Luigi's Mansion 1. If you use the, this here, I guess it would probably just play that cutscene as normal, but... Um, but, yeah, I remember, I guess it would have been, no, I guess it would have been the 30th, I think. Um, I remember basically, like, right n near New Year's, um, I, uh, I remember Dad took me to, he took me to, a. Uh, like, I, I don't want to say local, because it's, well, okay, I, li I live in Prince Edward Island, for those who don't know, and, um, I live about in 45 minutes from Charlottetown, I guess you could say. Um, it, it, we went to Charlottetown that day, basically, which, for me back then, was more frequently than some other people I knew, but it wasn't, like, an everyday occurrence, it was something a more special thing, anyway. Um... Went to see... Oh, Jesus, I hate these things. I don't know what to do for these guys now. Um... I remember we went to see, uh... Tron Legacy in the theater that time... Or that day. Um... Which I, I thought was good when I was a it, but, like, I don't remember anything of it, so maybe it was just one of those popcorn flicks. I mean, I know the only thing I ever really hear people talk about with that is that it has a really good soundtrack, and I, I'll take the word for it that it does, I just haven't seen the movie really, like, since then. I might have seen it, like, once on TV since. It is a long movie, so I don't really remember, like, anything else of it otherwise, but... That's just kind of, like, the impression I always was, like, you know, back then, you know. God, everything here is... Okay, this looks kind of atrocious. I'm not sure I missed, but sure, I'll take that. Um, I did not see there was another guy here. So yeah, um, probably better off that night though, like, the same night I saw Tron Legacy. Um, later that night I stayed over at, uh, a friend's house, it was my friend Dallas, and, um, he's been in, like, a number of my videos before, he's been in my, uh, He's been like my, um, we did a full Let's Play of Mario Party 1, actually, um, back in the day, and he's been in, like, appearing in on-off videos I've done basically ever since 2000, really, ever since the beginning, I'd say, 2008, um, like, I think in the early, early days, he might have, like, uploaded the odd video on my channel, and I might have uploaded the odd video on his channel, I think, but, um, Besides that, though, um, this is where the camera was. Ooh, there's a golden spider, which I'm not going towards right now. There's a lot of golden enemies down below. Here's a toad. Guess the toad somehow recognizes Guigi there. Um, 
So yeah, the night that uh, Dallas and I, um, or the night that I stayed over at Dallas's there, which I guess would have been the 30th anyway. I just remember watching, like, so many movies in this time frame, but we ended up watching uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and this was, like, our first time both of us seeing it. Now, I've seen that movie so many times now since then, but, um, like, at the time I think I had only heard, like, I had heard about how good it was, but I hadn't actually seen it for myself at that point. But, um... Yeah, when I first saw that movie, though, I definitely... Um... Like, God, we were probably laughing the whole time, honestly. Maybe some stuff's a little bit more, like dated about it but like honestly that was it was just a really memorable night for whatever reason and um it does make me really really excited that um the scott pilgrim game is coming back early next year as well it's supposed to be out this holiday but then i think i don't know if it was delayed or what but i found the toad out fortune all right looks like it. time for the main event Try to find the part I asked you for. You saw it in the footage, remember? <sighs> if only this toad could tell me about it more, because I know it was... Oh, look, Luigi. It's the part I was trying to bring back. I didn't think it would get up there. I see. Actually, that shouldn't be too bad to swing around here, though, I wouldn't think. Uh, why am I stuck up on here? Uh, is it normal that I'm supposed to be stuck on this thing with goo? Okay, there we go. That was really weird. Um. See, I... Unless I'm just having really terrible memory, I didn't think I needed two people on this to... Oh wait, hold on. No, I don't. Okay, that's good. Now I can do this right here. Just gotta rotate this around, to rotate around the Citadark Isle thing. If you've ever played Pokemon XD, you know what I'm talking about when I say Citadark Isle, because there's one room in this that's like, I don't want to say damn near identical to it, but it reminds me a lot of it. Um, or just this one room specifically, but... Oh, there we go. Got it. That's it, you found a part. All right, Luigi, come back to the lab. You can power up your Poltergust goo. All right, this is what I'm curious about, though. Because, in theory, this takes us back to the lab here. Or not, because... Of course they have to have it be like that. I know, and I know how to get out of here with this too, thankfully. Oh. Did I ever open this chest that's over here? I don't remember. I've been through this place like three streams now. No. This is just money. We've also surpassed 50 grand right now, so... Hold on. Switch back here first. <laughs> 40 grand. Nobody's gonna pay 40 grand for a kitty. I used to hope the fuck they're not anyway. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit of a random <laughs> reference to make there, but... Oh, wonderful. Ah, oh, I... My head's blocked. I need to find another way out. This pickle. Would you check your map? Uh huh, I see. 
Uh, good evening, Master of Light. Hope all's going well with you. Huh. I have an idea what room it wants me to go to. Yes, I know that, Egad. I don't think it would be going up by the boss area because there's only one, like, pathway in there. So. Come back, Googe. Come back, good old Googe. Wait, other way. Wait, hold on. Yep, okay, that's what I thought. kind of use Guiji like that too though. I mean, I'm sure Guiji's at least a little bit malleable. And also, now I can get whatever's in these rooms here. That's just going to break. Yeah, I wasn't able to get these before. Hmm. If I can get them below 80, I just know to start slamming, because... Once they're below 80, then four slams, and that's it. Insert that one image of Danny DeVito saying, So anyway, I started blasting here. You remember when there was, like, petitions everywhere to get Danny DeVito to be in, like, every movie ever a couple of years ago? Like, get Danny DeVito to play Detective Pikachu, get Danny DeVito to, like, um, get Danny DeVito to play Wolverine, and, like, I don't know, I'm sure there's other ones that I'm forgetting about, but, like, I swear, like, it feels like Danny DeVito was everywhere a couple years ago. Okay, I am still sus of this here. No, I guess Toad is not... Or no, Toad is... Aha! The fact that that's already a cleared out picture doesn't make a whole... You, like, leave my sight for a second there, Toad. Hmm. Uh, I have no idea. Um, and obviously spoiler of that, so, or, like, spoilers if you know, like, what that is. Don't obviously tell me or anything, but... Um, I don't know, I just, I, for some reason my mind's still on that stupid Danny DeVito topic, and I don't know why, because... I can't say I've seen too many things that he's in, like, I've seen, like, the 
couple of Simpsons episodes that he voiced Homer's brother in, but like besides that, and like I know I know of like a couple other cameo roles he's in and everything, but like yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Homer is a half brother. If you've ever like played um either Simpsons Hit and Run or Simpsons Road Rage, um, if you've ever seen the, uh, the car built for Homer. <laughs> yeah, this stream's topic is just Danny DeVito. Uh, if you've ever seen the episode, the, like, the car built for Homer vehicle, which is admittedly a pretty cool, um, that's like a really cool vehicle in those games. Uh, it's from an episode where uh, Homer finds out that he had a half-brother from, uh, like, Grandpa had, like, a one-night affair with someone and ended up having a kid, like, which he didn't even know about until, like, a year later when he went back to the, um, this, like, carnival or whatever. And anyways, um, Homer finds out that his brother, um... Like, I don't remember the exact context of the episode, but, like, Homer's brother's, like, really, really rich or something. And, um, it comes down to, like, Homer deciding on, like, the ergonomics of, like, a new type of car. And, um, because it's Homer designing it, he designs, like, the most, like, ridiculous car around. And, again, if you've played, like, The Simpsons, uh, Hit and Run, you know what that car is, because it's in that game, and it's in Simpsons Road Rage as well. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, like, a really, really ridiculously designed vehicle, but it's surprisingly good in those games. And, aha, could this, no, to don't be running, hold on. I will get the... No, I did not want to hit the toad that time. Aha! I've been wondering about that stupid thing for quite a while now. I see you there. I hate these ghosts, honestly, just because... They're both not that interesting, and they're also just annoying to deal with. Anyways, this pissed me off for so long now. What is in this? Money. And moment of truth, I cannot send gooey... No, oh, oh, this is water, never mind. I just find it so weird that you can't send Gooigi back through this. Also, wait. Are we, like, going inside of a pole here? Hold on, no. Toad, get your arse over here. We need to investigate this one here. Come here, Toad. Oh my god, we are going in... What, what is this? <laughs> um... This game has a lot of polish in other places, but, like... <laughs> uh, you guys are seeing what I'm pointing out here, right? <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3, everyone. Wait. Oh, okay, so just... <laughs> okay, that that's... I was just told, like, respawning over thin air there. That makes a little bit more sense than the weird crap I was going through there. Okay, so there is more to this section here. Oh god, I'm getting really weird flashbacks of, um... 
you ever see the ad for this thing called for this game called I think it's called Gardenscapes, or like I think there was a couple of versions of it like Homescapes or something. It's like the ads always make it out to be like this puzzle where you have to open these like locks. And, um, like, it makes it out that you have to open these, like, locks up or else, like, an evil rat will eat this girl or, like, some poor loser's gonna, like, I don't know, get flooded or get dumped in, like, acid or something, and it's, like, the ads are all the same concepts, and they're just, like... Head Luigi out there. Uh, I guess I need Luigi through here. Or not, that's water. Oh, I get this. Um... Yeah, I don't know, it was... I was just kind of getting weird vibes of that, where, like... Oh, I see how this is. Ugh. Really? Getting straight all Yoshi's Island up in here. Um... It's kind of cool, though. get some of this stuff here. Come down here. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to really describe Gardenscapes if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, like, it was... A, it, they're really, really stupid, stupid ads. Um... Like, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can pull that up on the stream here or not here. Give me a second. Um, Sorry, this is totally important to... This is totally important to... Um... This here, but, uh... Hold on. There we go. Yes, I am bringing up Chrome for this here. These ads here. Um, I'll see if I can maximize this a little bit more here. Uh, yeah, so... <sighs> the ads were always like this, where... Like, some woman would be trapped here and you have to move these locks or whatever. But in reality, it was just some weird... Framium game that... Like, had nothing to do with this at all. And for some reason, that's what this area here was reminding me of, even though it, like, in actual gameplay-wise, it reminded me more of Yoshi's Island. I don't know, man. <laughs> like, my mind goes in weird, weird places. And, um, I guess quickly I'll show the Homer car, since I do have this up here. This here... <laughs> Yeah, um, this was, um, this was definitely an episode of The Simpsons, all right. <laughs> and yeah, if you've ever played The Simpsons Hit and Run, this vehicle was in that game as well. And it's also really good in that game as well, so, yeah. 
You've probably seen the odd Gardenscapes ad here or there at some point. that handle to the wait to the door I thought I was doing that to the I thought I was doing that already oh wait ah damn it I didn't realize I had to hit X on that <sighs> anyways I'm just realizing there's no hillbilly music here. If you missed last week's stream by any chance, um, or like last, like, stream we did anyway, uh, don't worry, the Christmas one that we did, uh, that was almost entirely just backtracking for gems, and as of right now, I have every gem on every floor except floor 2, and a couple of floors that we still needed to backtrack to, because we weren't able to get everything. And I'm going to leave Guiji here for the time being, because it looks like this is going to be rotating at some point. This probably will answer my question as to what's going to happen with that one more path. Okay. Bridge being there, surprising nobody on Earth. Ah. Uh, but no, I didn't want to fall down there, damn it. Okay, fine, I'll do the opposite thing here. I'll get Guiji to fall down here. Now the camera's actually zoomed out proper here. And those I still cannot reach. Ugh, really? Crap. See some stuff there, and I also see a spider here. Money. I do. Uh, I do have an idea what I need to be doing here. Come with me, Toad. Also, Toad was just like totally not climbing up and down that ladder like he was supposed to. That was an epic miss, but I know I do need to do this. Okay, Toad, can you stop glitching out, please, and thank you. Ha, ah, totally. I totally get that. <laughs> and there's a lot of money bags in this floor. Wow. I'll complain, but it's a lot. Um, 
Oh, wait, hold on. I see. Aha. Aha. That makes a lot more sense. And yep, that's going to change that around. And I think there's only real one direction that this can go anyway. Can I stop sucking up other things here, please? Yeah, it has to go one more. I've heard Twitter's been having a lot of issues with accounts and stuff being deleted lately, like... Um... Like, I don't watch Scott the Waz at all, but I heard his account got deleted or, like, hacked or something. Um. And then I think I heard, um. Not, de not quite deleted, but I think I heard something happen to Lukajin's account she had on earlier that, like, apparently Twitter was giving her, like, grief over, like, making fun of Fight Club, like, eight years ago or something stupid like that. I don't know, man. Twitter's just a weird, weird freaking platform. Shut up, Egad. Yes, I do see the Piranha 3DD in here, but... I was trying to suck him up there, game, but... Oh, I didn't even realize that was a normal ladder there, or normal pathway to go there. So this was... Yeah, this is that lower area we were with with Guiji way before. This was something I was like wondering about earlier on, cause Wait, what am I taking damage from? I don't know. Anyways. Really obvious that there was something here. Can the step perce perception not suck here, please? Thank you. Shoot at this here. That's and what will shutting this off do? That's some gold spouted out there, but there's gotta be more to it than that, is there? Or not? Oh, wait, hold on. This, I did notice something up here. Oh, maybe it's 
Maybe it's just straight up nothing. I do want to keep exploring this place though, because this could have some secrets in it. And I also just straight up didn't do anything over here. Oh wait, hold on. Aha! I feel like the camera's messing up here because Toad's not, like, falling down this hole here, so... There we go. There we go. Um, well, I see a piggy bank up here. don't actually know what Maybelline is. Oh, there is a other hole there. confused by some of these holes here, like, maybe it's just not something we can get yet, um, I don't know, I think, honestly, we should probably just head back for the lab here, because we are at the exit of this place, I'm gonna kill the red guy here to get him out of the way, and then I might make a quick detour back here, because who knows, honestly. Hey, angry. Surprised to see me. Ah, oh, shoot. That was bad, that was bad. Up right there. I'll be over this cycle. All right. I, come on, there was not a damn banana there. Get out of here. Thank you. I don't know what this wheel here is. Oh, I guess just for that there, then, I suppose. Let's leave this damn floor here. I am kind of sick of the basement level 2, not gonna lie. I mean, it is actually a pretty cool floor, I do. I didn't hate it as much as other people do, but then again, I think I'm like the one person who seemingly who liked the boss fight against Clem, aka Cletus, so... Ow. These are not hard boss- these are not, like, ghost bosses here. Why do they treat these- Dumb ghosts is like important here. These are not like. I don't know. I don't like these ghosts a whole lot, but. Who knows? Maybe some people do. There we go. Was that. To was Toad's I'm the Winner voice clip there like. Was that just sampled from Mario Party there? Because it kind of sounded like it. Maybe it was a bit higher pitched than what it normally is in uh, Mario Party, but... Uh, probably from some minigame in Mario Party 5, 6, 7, or 8 if I had to guess. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. You're not a tough boss enemy. Why are you... Why do they keep making a large deal out of these... You're not being possessed here, Toad. And there's two of these arseholes, too, because I... Wait, hold on. Maybe, maybe there's just the one here. No. Ah, shoot. I did that too early there. Crap. Alright, go to Horny Jail, please and thank you. Yeah, maybe it probably could be Mario Kart as well. Um, I definitely know, like, that is a Toad voice clip, though. The I'm the winner! Ah, thanks for bringing them back the part, Luigi. Now hand it over. Oh, you just don't even care about that Toad there, do you? What are you go what are you doing? Give me the poltergeist goo too. Come on. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> now what do you think of that? I completed my modification <laughs> to poltergeist goo. Call it the super suction. It's increased suction power exponentially. Fortunately, you have to plug it into a special electrical socket in order to use super suction. A minor inconvenience you can surely handle. I'm sure you'll be able to find a few sockets in this hotel. Try it out as soon as you find one. By the way, didn't you mention that before there's a part of a special boat in the Spectral Castle? Or Spectral Catch Luigi? So match for overwhelming power super suction. Head back there and look for one of those electrical sockets I mentioned. All right, sounds good, Flashy Fox. I think it's, I think a thing I find weird about this game is that it's, you get basically every upgrade like right at the beginning. I think that's, I think the weird thing about having some sort of uh, suction ability. Um, I see that now, let me find this. Um, I'll have a look for this after the stream, then, Flashy Fox, if you can't find it, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know, I just find it weird how, like, you go so much of the game without too many upgrades, like, you get everything pretty much at the beginning, the regular Flash, the plunger, the... that light, um... this... Guiji you get pretty early. Like, you get all those basically, like, right at the beginning of the game. Yeah, here's some music. I still don't get this part of the game, part here at all, unless it's a super suction thing, which... It could be, for all I know. Oh, crap. Did I did I really need a toad for this here? Wait, no. Hold on. Oh, crap. I might have needed a toad for that there. I hope not. Damn it. I hope I didn't just, like, miss out on something because I didn't have a toad here. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Unless... Unless there's a way to try out super suction in this area. Area.
Oh, that's good to hear. No, that's just not a doorway at all there, even though I... Whoa. Even though I glitched up onto the ledge of that, okay. Quality game. I really hope I didn't just miss, like, some sort of missable secret there by not... Like, breaking down that wall with Toad there. Like, I don't think you can just... Take a toad with you whenever, I don't think. So then I'm starting to sound western now, I think. I know I'm kind of, like, dilly-dallying here at this point, but, um... Hmm. I don't know, I guess I'll keep exploring for the time being, I suppose. Um... But yeah, I don't know, I just I just find the notion that this game has, like, a power-up this late in, because, like, I guess, I guess I'm just thinking back to, like, the original Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, it didn't really have a whole lot in the way of, like, power-ups or anything, but also, um... Like, the power-ups you got were kind of gradual throughout that. In this game, it's like you get every power-up in the first maybe three hours of the game, and then, like, you're just suddenly getting a new one. Like, how far are we into this? Like, 13 hours into the game here? Um, okay. This is the floor missing something, right? Yeah. Not going to bother with this ghost here. Okay. Um... Okay, yeah. So I can only use the super suction if I find, like, a specific spot to use it. Sounds good. Sounds good, Flashy Fox. Um... But the super suction was the thing that I needed for this last gem, correct?
Okay, I wasn't expecting that to break that easily. The thing is, I don't know where I would. I haven't. I don't recall seeing a super suction, like charge up on this floor. That's the only thing. Hey. Yeah. Okay. I don't care about you. I'm just trying to think of everywhere I've been on this floor, because I do not recall seeing anything that looked like it was a thing for the super suction. Or like any sort of outlet like that one other outlet we saw. I know this was a thing kind of by itself here. I already got... I already got that. really trying to keep a vigilant eye where I would like, I don't even remember seeing that sort of power socket on any of the floors that we would have missed stuff Unless it was in one of the bathrooms. I don't think I checked the woman's bathroom here, did I? I'm pretty sure I haven't checked here yet. Okay, I did check that before. That's nothing there. <sighs> like, I'm even trying to think of, like, everywhere on this floor where there might have been a gem before. Like... I guess it's not really that much of a common rule. I keep I keep thinking that like no two gems can ever be next to each other, but I know that's not always true. So Okay, that symbol just literally teleported out of my hands there. That was wonderful. That was wonderful.
And I... Like, I don't think this game would require me to take a super suction from another area now, if I had to take a wild guess. I mean, most games with mechanics like this don't usually have you do random stuff like that. It's in the dress room here. In the previous, okay. This is still a really, really big room, so wait. Notice this before here. Aha. Aha. I swear I did not notice some sort of like I would not have noticed that. Wow, okay, so we're just going straight up Hypernova here with this. I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, we are definitely going just straight up Hypernova with this ability here. Probably wouldn't have found that without searching for like 400 hours, but that's really, really cathartic. I see.
Yeah, that was definitely a little bit on the nuts side. Aha! Aha! Suddenly I'm turning into Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> I was about to say, I, was, I felt like I was doing that on stream a bunch the other night, but no, I was just in a Discord call with some friends, and I was quoting that a bit that night as well. Okay, well this floor is all finished up now. Um, I guess we'll go to... I know we've done so much random backtracking stuff in this. I guess we won't actually... I didn't realize there was going to be a huge goose chase for the thing. Um, floor 2 has a lot of stuff we have yet to find. So, like, I mean a lot of things we have yet to find. So, I might just quickly get some of the stuff that's here. And then after that, um, I guess floor 12. And then we'll probably call it a night there, I think. Um, I did start a little bit earlier than normal, so we can go- we can run a little bit later on than usual, but... Yeah. And, like, I made the mistake of checking floor 2 from this room here, and then I thought, Yeah, I, th we have everything here. No, 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 we definitely do not have everything here. We definitely do not have everything here. So we're missing blue and purple, it looks like, on this floor here, so... Um... I'm just gonna kinda be on my, my lookout for this here. Oh, uh, this is the second floor, by the way, just for a uh, reminder of that one there. This one I'd like to kind of just have a look around normally here because, like, I, I feel like this is a floor we've been to a lot, but we haven't really explored, like, a whole lot. Then again, I don't know if I'm just mixing this up with a different floor or something. I already got this here. And almost got stuck again. That's like the third almost glitch I've seen in this, like, night alone here. I don't think that would have been a gem, because if it was, I think I could have still collected it, so... I think I see the thing you just sent me there, Flashy Fox. Wow. Whoa. I feel like I got most things in... Wait, hold on. Hold on, what's this? Did I get this before? Uh, no, but it wasn't anything important. Damn it. Okay. 
gotcha. Uh, blue and purple. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I have the white gem already. Actually, I already got this already, I think. Yeah, I remember spending a while looking for that earlier. Okay, I got an achievement for that, though. Which is weird, because I know I've gotten that thing before. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the freaking dinner floor here. This good old floor. I've been in these rooms all like 200 times, but I feel like I. Hmm. Part of me is sus of like the, like that one entertainment room because I don't know. Sword. Almost positive I've gotten this one here because these ghosts. You guys do have crystals, right? Yeah, okay, I already got that. That was the clear one, I think. Or the white one. So, okay. I'm really sus of this entertainment room down here because I feel like. This is like... Oh god, I just had a really horrible idea. Have I ever tried sinking all of these? I just don't need to do them in proper order, I would assume. That sounds like an actual nightmare, but... So sinking the white ball and the eight ball somehow accounted for something. I've done this before though, right? Yeah, we're seeing pig butt again. Aha.
feel like I've explored this room a lot in, like, past areas, but... I do remember the golden ghost in this area before. Oh, uh, hello. I feel like I've taken this from this guy before. Aha! I had a feeling there was something to do with that. With the fact that it was a freaking, uh, darts, yeah, darts table there. It just felt a little bit too sus to me there, so... Poochie. Was Poochie here just for, or not Poochie, Polterprop. Polterprop thing just here from like the thing earlier in the game or? Probably was if I had to guess actually, but. I seem to remember Polterpup being here. I know, obviously, this is the room with, like, the, the infamous mouse, but... Or the rat, but... days of this room. been buzzing a lot lately. I... Okay, yeah. Wow. See, I I wait. What the? Oh, okay. 
I'm pretty sure this was the room that had like the freezer thing that I could walk into. And like in here was the weird Jaws thing. Like, isn't this where I got the red gem if I remember right? I remember now, freaking Luigi can go through here. I already did just about everything with the eel. I guess it's not an eel, it's uh, like a. What do you call a fish like that? A um, angler fish. Wait. Why did I just not get that earlier? Did I even see that earlier? And if I did, how did I miss that? Okay. Well, that's something, I guess. Now to never ever speak of this floor ever again. And I think that's all the gems except for one floor. Um, besides, like, the three we have yet to go to. In fact, yeah, what's the... I'm just gonna quickly go to the lab here to check to see what we're missing, because it's only one gem on one floor, I think. Let me just quickly double check what that is. Let's see. Right, we still never... Oops, we still never got the last gem in Boiler Works either. Okay, so that's something else we're missing. It was... Wait, were we? I thought we were missing a, another gem on another floor. Oh, no, I think it was um, Boiler Works. Never mind. Yeah, Boilworks and, uh, whatever floor, whatever, f bleh. uh, Boilworks at the musical stage were the two that I was missing something on. I think I might deal with Boilworks next time. I've, I've been there too much this stream already, and I don't really want to deal with that. I want to do something new for once. Spectral Catch, let's head. Wow, we've ridden this elevator 50 times now, jeez. <sighs> All right, well, this ship is about to get very, very hypernova very fast. So, I'm just curious, well, actually, I can ask this in another, like, bit, I guess. Okay. 
they will like to suck off the background walls with this as well. Suck up this here, suck up this here, suck up the one on the other side too because I hate it just as much. Suck up this fire here. This fire is nothing special at all. Or we can just kind of let go. I have a feeling this is going to be a big focus for boss fights coming up here, but... I guess we'll kind of wait and see then. Where do you take me? Okay, I'd be damn shocked if this wasn't some sort of secret, if not a gem here. Or if there wasn't a gem here, I'd be... Hold on. Those coins are having a layering issue with the... What is with me finding every glitch in the book here tonight? Like... This didn't result in anything here either. Yeah, I don't know what's with all the glitches here tonight. Yeah, Danny DeVito and Glitch Knight. What if, what if there was just a movie starring Danny DeVito called Glitch Knight? Because that totally sounds like a movie that he would star in. music, which... Ah, oh, there we go. I guess it's kind of fitting, because I was listening to Banjo-Kazooie music recently, and... Now, there is quite a bit of piratey sounding stuff in that as well. Yeah, it kind of sounds a bit like an Asylum movie, but, I mean... Well, well, okay, Asylum movies are something, but I don't think they'd have the star power to get Danny DeVito, though. <laughs> I do find it interesting that, like, I know people petition to have Danny DeVito in Detective Pikachu, but, like, um, apparently they tried actually, like, casting him or rec recording some voice lines for that movie, um, but they found, like, he just wasn't really the right fit because he was kind of a bit older and didn't really know anything about Pokemon, so... Um, I think that's ultimately why they went with, uh, Brian Reynolds for that movie. And then, like, no one ever talks about the Detective Pikachu game at all, like... I remember hearing, like, really bad things about it, apparently. I mean, I know it was a late-era 3DS game, and it's one of, like, the, the one late 3DS game that's not, like, a port or a remake of something, but... 
like... Oh, Jesus. Suck up my goo. It's not really bad saying it like that, but... There we go. Why who? Danny DeVito or Ryan Reynolds? I don't really know why people wanted Danny DeVito and Detective Pikachu so much, but like that was a Yeah, I I don't have an answer for that. I mean mm. Okay, I guess I'll remember that room for later then. This is a pretty cool floor so far, though. Detective DeVito, oh, yeah. Oh. Wait, hold on, let me look at the map here for a second. Well, there's gonna be some shit going down in the next room here. I can tell you that right now. Is there anything here at all? I did. I'm noticing like this secret area to my right here that I feel like. Walk behind a waterfall. I guess I'll remember that for later if, like, I end up shutting off the water here or something. Aww. It's funny how the stream just literally turned into glitches and Danny DeVito. So we have more sand here. So looking for the crystal coconut here. Now this this is a hundred percent a secret here. This is way too inconspicuous. Uh, where is there a coconut? Is it weird that I'm now, for some reason, thinking of Coconut Fred, and I don't know why? Sorry. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a coconut tree right here. You lost your head, and now you're nothing. You can only be killed by slam, so come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Oh wait. Come on and slam, if you want a jam. Yep. I love how I've been getting those in order somehow. Somehow. Alright, let's see what... Bull crappery is gonna happen here because this is undoubtedly gonna be something big here, isn't it? Alright, what's gonna happen? Wow, I can't believe it. It's a ghost ship. Get it? Ghost ship? Huh? Ah. 
I see. Eh. Luigi, you've dealt with ghost ships in Mario Galaxy before. So this is basically just deep dark galaxy. Yeah, how is this one floor in a hotel? There's a turd. I don't know why I called it a turd there, but it's... Here's Johnny! Okay, so this is basically that one boss from Link's Awakening I see now. Crap. How did that freaking miss? How on earth did that miss? That just rolled right over this guy. There we go. See, when I was saying the Here's Johnny thing, um, I was actually kind of intending on a Mario RPG reference, because, uh, there's a, um, like a guy who lives in a sunken ship in that game named Johnny. Good old Jonathan Jones. Okay, I need to do something about that hook there. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I have, like, no health here. Shoot. I don't have a bone, either. That did- Why did that just do 40 damage? What the hell? Not viewing this damn game over screen here. Yeah, restart. Friendly reminder, the last boss we fought was like the... Like the... Mad Hatter sisters. Um... I'm... S I hate to say I'm still standing by that as my least favorite boss fight in the game. Because it's not. It's, again, the freaking maid that isn't even really a boss fight. But... And again, I don't even think the Mad Hatters was that bad. It was just that last luck-based phase was just that bad. Also, I can't skip this, seriously. thought for some reason I'd be able to skip this after viewing it once, but... I remember actually when I was a kid, um, you ever have those times when your friends try and tell you, like, weird fake rumors in games. I remember one time someone was telling me that like in okay that why am I getting BS like hits like that? I remember a friend was trying to tell me of a uh like I knew Luigi's Mansion had kinda like a harder like second quest type mode. It wasn't really a second quest because uh it was like the same game from what I understand, but um a friend of mine tried telling me that, like, the second, like, the second quest thing of Luigi's Mansion had, like, a really tough, like, shark boss or something. And it's just kind of weird thinking now that I am playing a Luigi's Mansion game with a shark boss in it. Okay, 
I don't want to be in range of that damn hook attack. I guess I haven't really tried... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, damn it. Okay. Aha, I see what I'm doing now. No, shoot. I think I can get health back on this phase, though, I think. So, why is... Ugh, come on, this is dumb. I'd like it if the game could... S I, I don't know if that's even really what I would label as a glitch there or not, but I'd like it if the game could stop doing weird crap like that. Okay, I get what I need to do now, though. I guess I was just that bad at dodging before. Honestly, that's not even that hard to do. I don't know why I was, like, messing up that part so much before. And yeah, I guess this is definitively, like, a three-phase thing. <sighs> How bullshit is this gonna become? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I see what's gonna go on here. <laughs> there, admittedly. Okay, I did get that. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Um, what am I supposed to do? In Is there just nothing I could do during that there? I see what I need to do here. Hold on. Let me... Let me suck. I was trying to suck that game. This is honestly kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. This is... This, despite my death earlier, this actually has been probably, like, one of my favorite bosses in this game so far. Okay, that was actually really good time on that there. Alright, now he's out again. Yeah, you might want to lay off the chain smoke in there, buddy. Lay off the darts, lay off the Canadian classics. What the? What the hell? Get away from me. Do your other slash tack. Oh, wait, hold on. I see now. This attack here. Miss. That's it. You're good as shark. Nato.
Oh wait, what are we saying here to? Did I, make, did I make some obscure reference in that that I just don't like recall? That is four thirteen though. Honestly, that fight was fun. Like that's a that was a really creative boss. It's just like it just kind of took me a second to kind of figure that out. And yay, we have a ladder to use thanks to the polter pup. I was just wondering what we were saying who to. Like, was I making some weird reference during that that I just kind of forgot about? I'll be honest, I did kind of forget what I was even talking about there the, for a second there. Um, golden fish. Golden fish. Uh, no, uh, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Um, there's a character in that game who's a fish that's, like, a major villain of the sunken ship. And his name is, uh, Jonathan Jones. And then I was just randomly saying, here's Johnny, for some reason, because I had to reference that for some reason. Oh, wait, what? Oh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. I'm very, very intrigued by that. I'll have to keep that in mind. First, let's save this toad here. There's nothing up here with this, is there? I haven't even thought to really use this up here, honestly. Well, okay, besides the toad there, that'll probably trigger a cutscene. I'm just uh, exploring. For some reason, my mind was thinking Door the Explorer again, which is weird because I. I feel like I referenced Door the Explorer in a recent stream as well, and I don't remember for what. Um, and then for some reason thinking Door the Explorer now is just A, making me remember that has a live-action movie, B, the fact that that movie has Danny Trejo voicing Boots. Alright, we got ourselves a Yellow Toad. Well done, Luigi. That's another toad rescued. Like always, toad should probably wait with me in the lab until things are safe. Why don't you take toad to the elevator? Like, the thing is, I also heard the Dora live-action movie was, like, decent for what it was, but also, like, I'm just not in the demographic to watch a Dora the Explorer movie. Like... Maybe if this was, like, 20 years ago, I might have said that, but, like, it's not 20 years ago. Wait, hold on. No. There's nothing hidden on the ship itself, is there? Totally. 
Um, there's definitely a secret there. Oh, for God's sakes, not these. No. Last time I fought snakes, they made me get on the topic of asylum movies. I don't want to... Well, I would like to do that again, but, but like... I'm not going to. Aha! Aha! I can tell by the map that we looked at earlier that there was a secret here, but... Uh, I mean, we still have... We still haven't really, like... Oh, okay, there's something. There's still a secret on this island here, though, isn't there? Yes. Aha! Well, I'm glad two of the things were right next to each other here, so that's a sign of good relief there. Hello? I mean, not to brag, but I feel like I've been pretty vigilant with exploring things in this game, and I guess on the plus side of not having, um... Uh, I've only bought, like, one thing at the shop, period, and that was just an extra golden bone, so... Which I haven't, like... I mean, I don't have that anymore, but... Alright. I feel like there's still more to the ship than that, but... Again, I don't know what was over... Where is it? Wow. There's a cave system to the right of here somewhere. I'm just trying to find that. Stuff's gonna unfortunately disappear. Whatever. Yeah, it's clear that there's something over on the right side of this room here, and that's the one thing I don't really understand right now, I think, but. but there's clearly a path up here. Unless I can just... No, I can't just walk up that way. That would be too convenient there. Toad just fell in the water there. I can see there's plain as day something behind there, but... I can't figure out exactly how to get in there. Unless that's a thing from outside here, maybe? Wait, hold on. There's clearly a path here. 
why is this a freaking the, this shouldn't be an invisible wall here like am i just missing something here I must be missing something here it's the one thing that's like tripping me up the most here cuz Also, surprisingly, we didn't use the Hypernova ability a whole lot that, like, I thought we would have. Nothing there. This is probably just for money here, if I had to guess. Or the yellow gem? Okay. Um, that's something. I'm glad that's not having to be searched for later. That cave leaves me really, really suspicious. Also, wait, yeah, like, what would you use to hit the- uh, I guess there is that globe there, actually, now that I think about it. Also, I don't know what spawning this in here did. Like, was this just for money here, or... Is there something more to this than... Making it out to be, or... I don't know. There's only one other thing left here, so... Might not be the worst thing in the world here. Someone's not happy. It's a tiny slip up. Oh, no, it's no problem, not at all. <laughs> you... I'm sorry, I can't get over that face. <laughs> that is like the ultimate mood face that I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. He has Mario and Peach after all. <laughs> oh. Hello. Now I found all the toads. That just leaves Princess Peach and Mario. So we to be captive. Regardless, we're almost there, Luigi. And of course that toad's not here. I really hope I didn't miss the like, a treasure on the basement floor there, or like the boiler works area. Because there was like a... Here, I'll show it here. I'm, I'm genuinely curious about this, uh, Fox, if you know if you could answer this. Um... And I'm, get, I'm at, I'm past the point now where I can't just reload the story save of that, so... Yes, of course, I'm going back to Boiler Works again, because I can't ever leave this place. This down here. Like, there's clear as day a treasure chest in here, and I think I would have had to throw- had to have thrown Toad in there in order to get that.
like, an actual gem gem, or... Because that's kind of missed right now. And I didn't really, unless there's some other way of getting that. Not here? Okay, so this treasure chest here... Is like I can see behind here that I, th I think anyway that there is something back here. Um, Okay, so if we are just missing, like, if the gem's elsewhere, then I guess we'll worry about that at a later on point. Um, I don't know why I always go to the basement every single time, but... Um, yeah, I think that is gonna pretty much wrap up tonight's stream, though. It went pretty smoothly, all things considered. Um, we, like I said, we will be back on uh, Thursday for more of this, plus Kirby Superstar, plus something to be determined. I don't actually know what else I'm going to be playing. I might... Okay, if, if it is just money, then that's good. If you know it's not the gem, that's good then, because that's all I wanted to know about. Um... Yeah. I don't believe we're going to finish this game on Thursday like I originally thought, because I was hoping to get, like, I, I kind of didn't realize I had floor 12 itself to go through tonight. And then I didn't realize there was going to be another freaking backtrack thing, like, before floor 12 even started. And then I just got stingy with collectibles again. But, um, yeah, we're only missing things there and then everything from floor 12 onward. I'm, I'm missing the boo on the floor we were just at to the heart one, but... Oh boy, fitness center, wonderful. But then, we'll just have Fitness Center for 14, and then what? whatever else, honestly. Like... There's probably not a whole lot else left of this game here, actually. I mean, there probably is more than I'm making it out to be, but, um... Yeah. Um, so yeah, I do hope to see you guys for the New Year's Eve extravaganza. I'm gonna try and get a video out that day as well. Um, in addition, I think, to the normal, like, stream VOD of this game that usually goes out that day. Maybe I could postpone that, actually. Actually, no, I don't think there would be a stream VOD that day. Um, I think that's not happening. Um, so yeah... Uh, thank you guys for kind of tuning in. Thanks, Flashy Fox and Jeremy, for being here most of the night. Um, thanks for all the the various people who just kind of dropped in over the time there. I'm going to see who we can have to raid tonight. Uh, there's quite a few people streaming here. Um... I feel like we raid either Teagsta or Odin's back every time we play this, but um, Odin's streaming uh, Smash Bros. followed by Family Feud, so that's probably going to be something worth checking out. So we're going to raid good old Odin's back, and we're going to go with the hashtag Danny DeVito in. We're going to go with the hashtag Danny DeVito in Glitchland. So, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys on uh, Thursday for something quite great. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.